I'm bringing to you a second video noted by myself and my wife. We are utterly sick of the harassment, the threats. We are utterly sick of him waiting at the end of our driveway when we pull in. This has got to stop. We're asking you, YouTube, to please spread the word. We have a Facebook page up. We have 11 YouTube videos up. We have seven documents on scribe.com. Please spread word of our saga. Please do what you can to help us. The mayor's office, the state police, the district attorney, the sheriff. Nobody will do anything to this man. We do not know why. We just ask for help exposing the corruption in Pepin County, Wisconsin. It is a beautiful place with a rotten core. I know what you're thinking. Get a lawyer and everything will be okay. No, that is not the case. We have written the state police. We have written the mayor's office. We have wrote CARE 11 News. We have wrote FOX 29 News. We have wrote WCCO. We have written WEAU News. We have written down in lacrosse WLAX whatever. We have written everybody around a 30 mile area for help and nobody seems to want to get involved. We're asking you YouTube to please spread word of this saga and our plight to please find justice. It is insane trying to live with a man who parks at the end of your driveway on a daily or nightly basis. Honks threatens to cut your cameras off, threatens to come in your house, threatens to feed your dogs antifreeze, threatens to shoot a gun at your home, and did it. This man was not arrested for threats. This man was not arrested for terrorism. I bring to you the story of Kevin Glander. Officer Glander responded to the scene when Scott Kircher threw a tire at me and proceeded to walk around to the back of my property and hang it on a fence that I own. He lives over a hundred yards away and did this basically to goad me for whatever reason. On his way back into his house he screamed about getting hurt and having to pay for medical bills. This was heard by not only myself, my wife, but also two independent witnesses that testified in court. Kevin Glander was at the scene for exactly 20 minutes. Twelve of those minutes he was over talking with Mr. Kircher. Eight of those minutes he was at my house arresting me. At no time did he question any one of the witnesses here. At no time did he give a statement or get a statement from any of the witnesses here. This is not police work. This is one-sided non-justice. Please help me. Officer Kevin Glander of the Pepin County Sheriff's Department is a good friend with Barry Kircher, who happens to be this guy's good drinking buddy and cousin. When Kevin Glander came to the scene, he had a microphone, and that microphone, everything that was on that microphone was given to me by my attorney. On this recording, Mr. Glander admits to not only being Barry's old neighbor, but Barry also admits to calling him Officer Glander now, stating that, uh, you know, he's known him a long time and they're good buds. I have all this on video. I have all this on audio. The District Attorney of Pepin County, Mr. John Seifert, refuses to charge this man with anything, any violation. You want to know why? Because Mr. Seifert's is good hunting buddy. It's a good old boy town. Please help me.